We're also following breaking news from another one of Detroit's big three, Ford Motor Company, with a big announcement as they are now making a huge investment here in Southeast Michigan. And that does top our news this noon. Thank you so much for joining us. Ford announcing that they are investing in new electric vehicles and investing in Michigan by canceling plans to build a plant in Mexico and instead add jobs to the plant in Flat Rock. Let's get out to Rod Maloney there this afternoon. And Rod, this is a pretty historic news for the automaker. Yeah, I, I don't think you can underestimate the impact of this particular decision. It's a billion dollar decision by Ford Motor Company, and they're betting on Donald Trump's tax policies benefiting them down the road because they are canceling that $1.6 billion plant that was going to go into San Luis Potosi, Mexico. That, uh, that $1.6 billion plant was supposed to help them be able to ship cars globally, but they have canceled those plans now. You realize, of course, that Ford Motor Company and Donald Trump went at it pretty hard during the presidential primaries. And in exchange for not building that plant, Ford's going to invest about half the amount that they were going to put into Mexico and uh, build a plant, uh, build another plant plant here in Flat Rock, or at least a piece of the plant here in Fat Rock. Flat Rock. They're going to have a high-tech, electrified and autonomous vehicle facility as well as they build the Mustang and the Lincoln Continental here. Uh, they also announced today, and this normally on any other day would have been a big headline, that Ford is going to electrify 13 of its vehicles, five of them by 2020, uh, in the next five years or so. The F-150, the Mustang, the Transit panel van, they'll make that into a plug-in hybrid for Europe. Um, but uh, it's it and, and this one would have been an even uh, bigger headline a fully electric suv that could have a 300 mile range which would have been sort of the competition for the volt that's what they announced here today let's hear from mark fields ford ceo to talk about why he made this decision and this announcement today a 700 million dollar investment and 700 new u.s jobs resulting in the transformation of this plant into the, one of the world's most flexible and high-tech manufacturing centers. And so Ford, I asked Mark Fields, why hold an auto show if you're going to be doing this three days in advance? And he basically said, look, we wanted to have the sunlight on them and everybody was here and everybody was watching because this is political, it's economic, it's automotive, it's many different things. but. More than anything, it's probably a surprise here and a big shift in the way things have been going in the automotive industry in terms of making cars here and, and shipping them globally. In fact, Mark Field said this today. He said that Ford may be a global automaker, but its home is here in America. And that's what he says this announcement is really all about. So quite the afternoon. We're certainly going to have a lot to talk about coming up on Local 4 News at 4, 5, and 6. We'll have full details and more coming then. Reporting live from Flat Rock, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Pretty significant, Rod. Thank you. We look forward to further reports. Uh, and speaking of President-elect Donald Trump, he's also using Twitter to criticize General Motors and may as a result be learning about auto production strategies. Donald Trump today issued a statement on Twitter saying that General Motors is sending Mexican-made model of Chevy Cruze to the U.S. from dealers tax-free across the border make in USA or pay a big border tax. While well, General Motors responded and wanted to set the record straight by saying that General Motors manufactures the Chevy Cruze sedan in Lordstown, Ohio. All Cruze sedans sold in the U.S. are built in GM's assembly plant in Lordstown. GM builds the Chevy Cruze hatchback for global markets in Mexico with a small number sold in the United States.